My name's Ryan, and I performed at CMT a lot from the early aughts when I was in schoolhouse rock and afraid to talk to folks. People asking me, let's see what you got, but I was not throwing away my shot. I didn't know what CMT was till I was gone and in college and my classmates from all over couldn't seem to acknowledge that the knowledge they had about the arts was no sweeter than the lessons I had learned in the Montgomery Theater. You see, they came from camps and different arts boarding schools where their communities were forced and theater wasn't cool and the teachers were cruel and if you're wrong, you're a fool, just follow the rules, never mind where to aim in your very first duel. But art isn't about finding the rights or the wrongs. It's about building a community where everyone belongs and in a time where too many are left ignored on a shelf. What a blessing to have a place where it's cool to be yourself. You go to the theater to get transported from the world and it makes you remember the joy that's been contorted in the world and if the hate and intolerance can be thwarted in the world then us theater geeks need to be supported in the world. It doesn't matter if you're an actor for the rest of your days. If you're in a little old show or the hottest new craze it's about the ways that you make people forget about their strife. Wake up the next morning with the slightly different look on life. I know money's tight and the world is uncertain, but try to remember that feeling when up goes the curtain and you're watching your children and a group of their peers conquer their fears, shedding their tears to everyone's cheers. So in summation, if it's into the woods narration or I'm a sensation, we all know there's causation between CMT and a standing ovation. So we'll get to more libation and gyration, but first let's get information and rise up for the next generation, cause I'm on vacation. <laughs>